Good morning, good morning. As you are aware, March 1st through March 31st is Women's History Month. Celebrating National Women's History Month. The theme for this year's Women's History Month 2023 is celebrating women who tell our stories. March has been declared National Women's History Month. It started as Women's Day, February 28, 1909, by a group of Manhattan socialists and suffragists in honor of the one-year anniversary of the garment strike led by the International Ladies Garment Workers Union. Former President Jimmy Carter issued the first presidential proclamation declaring the week of March 8, 1980 as National Women's History Week. The weekly observance continued until 1987 when Congress designated March as Women's History Month. Women's Suffrage and Political Union, WSPU, from the early 1900s and were brought to the United States by American suffragists who worked with them, Bourne said. Now the colors of National Women's History Month are white, green, and purple. The color represents History Month purple, green, and white to present women's history seen have their roots in the suffrage in England. The first celebration was in 1978. White, it represents purity and equality. It contradicts the smear tactics of the anti-suffragists who portray suffragists as loose or immoral women. Green, it represents nature, new growth, rebirth, and harmony, symbolizes hope, new beginnings, and growth. Purple, symbolizes royalty, loyalty to the cause, and women's request for freedom. And purple also is recognized internationally as the cover, color of women and gender equality stands for justice, dignity, and signifies visionary thinking. The origins of, origin of National Women's History Month. Women's History Month had its origins as a national celebration in 1981 when Congress passed Publication L 97 through 28, which authorized and requested the president to proclaim the week beginning March 7, 1982, as Women's History Week. Throughout the next five years, Congress continued to pass joint resolutions designating a week in March as Women's History Week. In 1987, after being petitioned by the National Women's History Project, Congress passed Publication L100-9, which designated the month of March 1987 as Women's History Month. Between 1988 and 1994, Congress passed additional resolutions requesting and authorizing the president to proclaim March of each year as Women's History Month. Since 1995, Presidents Clinton, Bush, Obama, and Trump have issued a series of annual proclamations designating the month of March as Women's History Month. There are ways to celebrate and join in. The Library of Congress, National Archives and Records Administration, National Endowment for the Humanities, National Gallery of Art, National Park Service, Smithsonian Institution and United States Holocaust Memorial Museum, all join in to pay tribute to the generations of women whose commitment to nature and the planet have provided valuable to society. In the workplace, host insightful lunch and learns where presenters can highlight influential women throughout the history and the present day. This is a great way to educate staff members on prominent historical figures and celebrate milestones. Pivotal women in politics to inspire women business leaders to famous female inventors who have changed the world. Initiate an employee recognition program. Ask an employee to nominate a Women of the Year to show appreciation for women on your staff. Recognize the winner company-wide by hosting a ceremony and an all-hands meeting or by making an announcement in person or through email or web page. A prize, plaque, or poster that includes colleagues' words of praise. You can also do a Women to Watch award or a Women Who Support Other Women award. Plan a virtual museum tour or outing and exhibit on standing up for change, African-American women and the civil rights movement. There are many others such as first but not the last and the National Women's History Museum. Host a book club theme on women's stories. Choose a book and give people time to read it. Then select a date and place to discuss it as a team. It can be done virtually such as Zoom or Facebook every month or two. Encourage thoughtful reflections and interaction. 
post notes on a bulletin board or community space, sharing bits of information on women who have made a positive impact on their lives, spot on their lives, spotlighting specific contributions and achievements of women within the company or on your team. Start a business resource group sharing common interests and experiences which can influence overall organization approach to diversity, equity, and inclusion, sharing awareness and viewpoints across departments, helping and assisting in career development, networking, service project, and other opportunities in ways to celebrate and join in. A greater focus. As a greater focus is placed on inclusion, planning to celebrate women's history year round can help strengthen an organization's culture and help individual workers feel seen and supported. Asking the women how they want to be celebrated, whether at work, church, school, and community, via survey or email asking for input. Choosing the right campaigns to support by including and encouraging participation. Recognizing someone who contributes to their community and works tiresome to help others makes positive changes that affects others in a positive manner. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. And please leave your respectful comments below. Thank you all. Have a beautiful day. And don't forget, there are many ways that you can celebrate Women's History Month. God bless you all.